Hey guys, just finished watching Luke Cage season one, episode 13. You know my steez. Um, wow, what a perfect ending to this show. I loved the whole thing, especially with the fight between Diamondback and Luke Cage. That was pretty cool seeing him go through all that and then, you know, clearing his name and stuff. And uh, and then at the end, you know, getting uh, getting arrested. Oh my God, that was awesome. It was pretty cool seeing that. And it was cool kind of like, oh no, he's going to jail and all that stuff. And like, why, how is that ending on this big cliffhanger? You know, it's too big of a cliffhanger to end the first full season on. Um but they're not, you know, it's not much of a cliffhanger because what's his face in the shop has his, um, at the barber shop has found the file and stuff. That was pretty cool. Um, so I guess that's definitely going to be fun to see how things go from there. I wonder, I guess he'll probably be completely out by then if, um, uh, you know, if, if Clara gets, uh, Darren gets uh, Matt Murdock to help with that and, you know, and she can get that file. If he gets that file to, uh, to, to, to Matt Murdock, I think it'd be cool to see that. So I wonder if, uh, if, um, the defenders will open up with that, with, you know, maybe him finishing up the, 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 um, maybe Daredevil finishing up, trying to get Lucas out and just doing the last little bits and him finally just coming out of prison, uh, after all this time, I think that would be cool to see that, uh, it depends on how long the, you know the time like gap between uh you know how long the the the, the, the uh, iron fist show is supposed to take although we didn't have any iron fist in, in this which was kind of a little bit disappointing but i think it would have just came right out of nowhere having luke having iron fist in, in in this there's no way to connect him to this at all um but having uh but you know however long the, the show iron fist takes place maybe you know luke cage pops up in that and that's how things happened with with him there uh, you know, maybe that's how somehow, somehow he they meet up, but I don't know. I don't see uh, them crossing over meeting just any anytime soon in, in the Iron Fist show. I just don't think it would make any uh, too much sense right now for uh, for them to pop out, just because their Iron Fist is all mystical and, and martial arts and all that stuff. There's just not really that uh, really connection uh, to see there. Maybe there could be. There could be find a way to see if he pops up in that show. I'll be surprised if he does. Um, but I definitely can't wait to see how long that show is supposed to take. How long. Um, that that's supposed to let show last. So how, what period of time does that uh, state take? Um, and then after that, how long between that and um, you know defenders? So how long until from the ending of this uh, episode until the defenders? How many uh, is it a year or a month or something that take that's gone by? Uh, we'll have to wait and find out because we have to see whether or not. Um, and things happen with Daredevil and stuff. So, because definitely, don't forget in Defenders, we still have to figure out what happened to um, uh, what happened with Daredevil and Karen Page when Daredevil shows Karen Page that he has the mask. I'm Daredevil, and they ended like that in Daredevil season two. So we still need to find out what happens with that. We need to find out what you know. So I definitely can't wait to see what happens, especially if we get uh, you know Karen Page and and. Uh, and Matt Murdock are working together uh, on getting uh, Luke Cage out of prison. I think that could definitely be cool to see all that. And uh, yeah, that is definitely going to be awesome to see them, especially if they start off in the first episode. He's getting him out of prison um, and stuff like that. That would be awesome in, the, in, in there to really have it so that Daredevil's already met Luke Cage from the first episode of Defenders. That would be really awesome. Uh, and then go from there. That would be pretty cool, too. Um, especially to see how things go so yeah this is definitely gonna be awesome to see how things go there and uh yeah maybe uh, or maybe actually if uh you know I, this could be all kinds of reasons we'll see what happens but this is definitely gonna be awesome definitely excited to see when uh iron first comes out hopefully we get the uh, release date soon um uh, maybe you know in a few weeks or something maybe by the end of the month we could get the official release date you know um for uh for you know for iron fist at least an idea of which month it's supposed to come out in and uh yeah go from there so definitely gonna be good so i love this this show guys the show was pretty cool although comparing it to uh, so far my favorite season of all the netflix marvel stuff is daredevil season two then they'd have to come out with daredevil season one then jessica jones then luke cage so it's not really my favorite all, out of all the other ones um but these were episodes that were all because the beginning was a bit slow in this whole entire season um but the overall show was pretty awesome. It was definitely a great show, and I definitely recommend watching it if you haven't watched it. Uh, although you've probably seen all kinds of spoilers from me here, um, but this is a great show and really liked it. And I, uh, I think it was pretty awesome. And it, at the end there, it really kind of builds all up, and it's pretty awesome. Pretty cool seeing that uh, Iron Fist, seeing him fight all those and going back and forth, and the, the explosions and the deals and the, oh, this episode was so full of stuff. It was pretty awesome uh, seeing all that, and definitely can't wait to see what's going to happen with. Um, shades and stuff maybe in Luke Cage season two or maybe if 
Um, Adam Councilwoman, if, if she's in there, maybe she's doing deals with uh, the hand and she's part of bringing the hand in there because that would be cool to see, you know, Kingpin, the hand, uh, the Councilwoman there, Shades in those crew there, um, Mariah, uh, all those cool. And it was really cool at the end of this seeing Misty Knight in her classic costume-ish look like it was just a dress that looks like the costume with the, the wig and all that stuff. Although I was surprised that she did get her arm chopped off, you know, like that, especially when her arm w w got shot in there, she didn't get it chopped off. Like, how did that not happen? And then also with Bernstein, Dr. Bernstein taking on uh, Willis Stryker, that's going to be so cool to see how that goes. I wonder if that's going to be uh, have anything to do with uh, the Defenders. I would hope it would be cool to see that in Defenders uh, to really bring it. So it's not just the hand, it's like all of it, you know, the hand and uh, you know all of these guys maybe Willie Stryker and all those guys they all get together and they all say oh we need help uh, for taking on you know uh, all of our superhero all of our problems you know so they they hired the hand or something like that to come in and do stuff and the hand also has some problems with Daredevil so I think that would be cool to have everyone in there um, we'll have to wait and see if, how much of the hand is involved in uh, Iron Fist I feel like they would be involved a lot in Iron Fist we'll have to wait and see but it's definitely going to be awesome to see how things go hopefully some of these characters can all come back in the uh, in the Defenders but we'll have to wait and see see how things go and uh, yeah definitely excited for the Defenders after all this and really excited for Iron Fist so let me know what you think guys about the last episode the full season of uh, Luke Cage in the comments below I'll see you guys in the next video peace see you tonight